Yes, sir. Yeah, Bridge Nation. From here, the baddest instrumental on radio. You know, this is one of the baddest shows on radio. And I modestly say one off because the rest of the bad show them they wear on the Bridge 99 FM. This is The Streets. According to me, your boy Shells. Well, go on. Welcome back. Welcome back. You don't know. You just missed the first segment. We talk about like a trending topics. Don't tell them say bridge and, and, and reggae some fest. Don't sound, you know, we team up and we're shell the place. You know, Rihanna having a baby, not my baby. So you go. We're moving right along. But the topic that we brought up. <laughs> Where's the Ruddy G's on for like Oh, yeah. And also, one of the biggest trending topics is, is Ruddy G's, DJ Ruddy G's jacket. Um, apparently, it's the first jacket to come with waves. In a, yeah, once you put it on, it doesn't automatically get waves in your hair. It's amazing. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's amazing. You see me? Big up yourself, DJ Ruddy, my G. Big up the whole bridge team. It was a good look tonight. Um, But yeah, um, so tonight's reasoning is, you know, artists, the artist versus the entertainer. Is there a difference? I'm not going to lie. At the beginning of this whole thing, when I first heard it, I thought there wasn't a difference. But according to Dr. Google, they, she said, yes, Google is obviously a woman. She knows too much, that's why. Uh, <laughs> so according to Dr. Google, she said that um, there is a difference. And apparently an artist can be an entertainer, but an entertainer can't be an artist. Who? Oh, that's harsh stuff. You see me? I say, I think there's a fine line. Definitely. And quick and fast, because I know I got my guests ready. Um, it's a fine line between the two. I do believe that in terms of, you know, an, an, an entertainer is... When I hear entertainer, I, I hope that's on a, a Monica. I don't get... No disrespect to people who like that that, that, that that title. I just feel like when I hear entertainer, people say you're an entertainer. It's like when I'm see her, it's like on the spot. Jump. Like, please. And if you can't jump, you're not relevant. You get what I'm saying? That's what it feels like when somebody says, like, you're an entertainer. Like, entertain me, please. But when someone says you're an artist, you understand me? It's like you, it's like you, you don't know how to approach them. It's like, what's it? <laughs> what's it? <laughs> hey, shout out to be like, be like, learn here. I just stop and just wait for like fifty minutes. Or like, all right, you know, I was I was having a discussion with a lovely lady since night. Shannon don't read too much into that. And <laughs> she said to me, we were running, we we're running through a list of like people who bridge that gap, pun intended, between artist and entertainer. And first one came to my mind was Michael Jackson. You understand me? Because that man took time, you know, to perfect that craft and pr to, to bring forth the message in an entertaining way. You understand me? Because it could be... Because a lot of artists out there, they're, they're kind of too standoffish and they don't come off as entertaining. You know, they're, they're great, but they need... So you have a few out there, especially in Jamaica, like, I mean... Diana Ross. Oh, gosh, man. Okay, I was... I was just wondering, I'm going to start appreciate Shade. <laughs> no, for real. Like, whatever. Like, Shadi was just too... She did too much for me. When we did that grow? Like, oh, come on, Shadi. Dance or something. Like, come on. Do something. But when she go up on the stage, like, smooth up. And I was like, all right. I know you grow up. No, yeah, yeah. Yeah, start drink wine like Shannon. You say, like, oh, that's what she meant. <laughs> so, yeah. that's uh, And that's the thing about artists and their art. Something about it is timeless. You understand what I'm saying? I, I agree with that aspect. You know, when an artist is true to the craft and work hard on it, they really they focus on longevity and not just about repetition and, and just showing. And that's something I think our young artists struggle with. Like, why? what is this need? I, I'm not an artist, and I know I hope my guests can shed some light on this. But why is it? Why, why for this need to you drop a song today? By tomorrow, you need to drop a next one because you feel like the streets are going to forget the one you just dropped a while ago. I mean, I mean, I understand that there's work to be done behind the scenes, marketing and PR and all these things. But I mean, once it, once it, once something about it hit and connect, like coffee can sing toast from now till the morning, you know what I mean? We out, we out. Yeah, who's a prime example, Shannon? 80s, 90s. Sanchez. Ken Booth, Sanchez, Ken Booth. See that? No. Yeah. I, I mentioned Barris earlier. Yeah, Barris, uh, yo, yo, listen, I went, I went, being, yeah, I, I said, uh, Beanie Man is up, stand diggy diggy dang dang, yeah, Beanie, 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 Beanie's up, Beanie bridged that gap perfectly, what Kevin just said, oh yeah, can I say it, oh, okay, no, okay, alright, when I, you know, I mean, it's, it's after, it's after us, but not that after us, you see what I say, the, Oh, no, I'm okay, I can't say that. You know what? I'm going to move forward, yeah. I'm going to move forward. We're getting too much trouble with other people in the studio. But, yeah, there is a fine line. Um, But, yeah, I, I think that is my problem with the, the term and, and the connotations associated with entertainer. I feel like, you know, there's always this need to, to perform now. Do something for me now. Do something for me now. As an, but as it relates to an artist, it's like, I am the art. Respect my timing. It will come. Respect it. But I think as an artist, though, if you focus too, I just said I feel like if you focus too much on the art, people don't find it entertaining. 
Is it is it because of the social media age? Is it the attention span of the generation coming up? Let's dive into that. I know we got some great guests on the line right now, and I give thanks for the fact that they're not sleeping or resting up or doing something else with their craft. I really appreciate the fact that they're tuning in and, and holding a vibes with me. First and foremost, we got The Voice, who is a recording artist, and apparently the man are gonna get ready for Shell Rum Festival coming up. Is that right, Shannon? That's right. Big up yourself. It's a good look. So big up the voice. And also Tony and Kelly. Um, she's an entertainment publicist. Uh, basically, I'm tell you what but she knows her media peeps. You know what I mean? She has done PR for loads of top acts. Yeah, man. So we, I'm going to get some real insights. And of course, on top of that, she has her own business. I'm talking to a boss. She has her black butterfly media. So Tony, the voice, greetings. And welcome to the streets according to Shells. It's an honor. How are going? Oh, she's on Zoom. Okay. Okay, hold on. But now you're not hey. You're not hey. hearing me? I'm hearing you now. Fantastic. Oh. Hi. <laughs> I said I should be in my bed. Yeah, yeah. man. Me no, me no, me no, me no. <laughs> but I appreciate it. But I'm this. here with you guys. Give thanks for the opportunity. Yeah, man. And I, and we definitely appreciate it. Where the the voice there? Okay, I'm not here. I'm not here the voice. But I, but in the meantime, we'll just get you. Um Tony, so Hola. Are you hearing me now? Ah, tio. All right, the voice. What's going on? Yeah, not bad enough. I'm here. All right. Give thanks, bro. Give thanks. Really appreciate it. So tonight's reasoning, you know, guys, is all about the artist versus the entertainer. First and foremost, the voice. As an entertainer, as or as an artist, I don't even know because now I'm confused now. Do you first, do you first <laughs> and foremost believe that there's a difference between the two? Well, to me, I, I believe that there's a difference as well. I feel like the entertainer try to they call it now um provide what the the, uh, the audience wants mm. whereby if the audience if the, if them feel like all right then the audience are gonna go for me climbing up on top of the roof right there so they're gonna do it mm -hmm. an entertainer now don't really as much um care about oh, you, what the audience oh, you is mean the artist the, the, artist. No, the, the artist, artist the yeah, artist right. really more focused on his craft and what he believes. Mm. So he constantly stay true to his craft. Right, right. I'm, yes, I'm so with you I there. feel like that's the difference. That's what that's me. that's what I mean. Tony, you you agree? Well, um, to a point, um, okay. for me, artists are talents, and you know, talents really uh, hone and you know, seek after, care for their craft first and foremost. Um, as, as you rightly said, uh, an artist can become an entertainer, can bridge that gap. And we see that a lot, um, like, I mean, with Beyonce or a Britney Spears, who, you know, people think is technically a mad woman, <laughs> but she is the consummate entertainer. When she's on stage, it's on and True. it's go time. Um, and you rightly said, most of our Jamaican artists don't get to that stage where they are entertaining people. They're still focusing on their one bad song mm -hmm. or them two bad song because that's their craft. That's their art. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, to a... Yeah, that to an like extent, soca, there's soca an arts. agreement. <laughs> Based on the voice. <laughs> yeah, that comes like soca music. Oh, yeah. oh, so, oh that, all if you don't, if, all if you don't know the song, yeah. yet still, you still you find yourself a jump and thing because they're entertaining. Mm. Because they're entertaining, But exactly. you're not going to buy the record. Mm. All right. For, that's a totally different discussion because Jamaicans really don't buy music. There's Ooh, five yeah. of us. I'm not talking about <laughs> worldwide, worldwide persons. Worldwide mm -hmm. persons buy records from artists not just persons that are entertainers mm. that's true all right now now the voice remember, remember i i made some of vibes a while ago so it's like can you really blame artists or artists and i know i have, have used beer ear quotes now because if we use oh can I, is it fair for artists to say oh you know let me focus on being entertaining because if you pre whole people pre our culture like on a worldwide scale like i mean people people love the the, the, the gimmicks, apparently. People love the gimmicks. People love the fact that we just jump up on stage and we, 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 we accent and this. Is it is it fair for us to to focus on being entertaining because foreign so we're entertaining, if you get what no, I'm saying? That's, that's why I reiterate about persons going to Edna Mundy College because I, I am a student from Edna Mundy College mm -hmm. and Edna Mundy College teaches you to become an artist plus an entertainer. Ooh. 
Okay. You will understand. So you know how to maneuver yourself on stage to, to grab the attention of the audience. Mm. So if you're going to solely um, rely on entertainment alone, without a hit song, <laughs> after <laughs> next month, somebody else is going to come and do the same thing. But, not but entertainment is what gives you the hit song, you know. Mm. Not because all entertainers. People- because if people aren't entertained by your craft to a certain extent or can't have an affinity to your craft, they're not going to buy it. But they're much, not going to buy into song, it. How much it song an entertainer have? A well, lot of entertainers don't have a lot of it songs, you know. They might find a one well, or two. Hold on there, hold on there, hold on there. You know a little youth named Lolly? I was up, you know, I get ready to drop some example, but yeah, he's definitely in there. You know a youth named Lolly? Well, go on yeah. good. Uh, yeah. how, how artistic is what Lali, when you look at the artistic value of what Lali brings, how artistic is it? But it's not. The whole package not right here. No, not not no yeah. he's not the whole package. No, I don't think he, yeah. because his Because his music is very, for want of a better word, basic. It's very mm-hmm. nursery rhymes kind of thing. But it's entertaining. Appealing to the younger folk. And people yeah. love it because it's entertaining. Hmm. Hmm. So people buy into it because it's entertaining. So he's making hit songs of being and of of being entertaining. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Oh, oh, oh. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'll, I'll give Ali you. Songs. I'll give you. I love. I love him. I oh, I met him. I met him years ago. Yeah. I and used personality to, as well. I used to um be on the production team for One Hundred Live, mm-hmm. and that was his first show ever in 2018 Respect. and he as the first performer to come on stage he literally rocked the crowd he made it harder for who was coming after him mm. to you know they were nervous yeah because everybody was dancing with lolly and lolly had one song which was what's on sale cornflakes yeah. and <laughs> you know yeah that's something <laughs> that's something all right so you know, I love that example, you know, with Lali. An example, another example I have um, is somebody who has a lot more hits. But no, no, be, no, be an artist, man. No, be an artist. Be an artist turn entertainer. Yeah, man. I, no, facts. You understand? Because being a media for try to work with the times. You understand me? So you know what I'm going But if you look on Ding Dong, ah. where, the voice, what do you classify Ding Dong as? I classify him as an entertainer still. Mm, but... If you pre the hits, yeah, but that's <laughs> a, it, that's when she's a lolly. Ding Dang was the first person to come to mind as well. Mm-hmm. So, but, so, 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 uh, is it wrong for Ding Dang for say, oh no, I'm an artist, no, nobody will call me entertainer? Is it is it wrong for him for say that? No, it's not wrong because he's the music as well. So mm-hmm. people are going like, want people to consider him as an artist. But but that's that's what I'm saying. Even though um you have persons such as Lolly and Ding Dang where where a person might consider have both the entertainment side and hit songs that persons can move to, you still have persons that um will just go on stage and entertain alone and people just love to see it. All right, for instance, mm-hmm. what do you consider um Ninja Man as? Artist. <laughs> that man you see it? You see it? <laughs> Tony, I don't know what we say about that one there, you know? <laughs> See, it's an anomaly. It's, uh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Ninja Man is an anomaly. That's a good one. <laughs> to me, you know, you don't know what to say about it. Oh, you say my entertainer? Yeah, to me, because when I'm watching past stage, it's not it songs like everybody was in Ninja Man. Mm. It's just because I'm entertaining the crowd. That's a good point. That's that is a good, a good that point. That is a very good point for But real. that doesn't say that he doesn't have hit songs that Name were one. hits in the Name 80s. one. Name I, one. I was born in the 80s. I just I just know him because I've seen him perform on Sting a few times. I born in the 80s as well. And no, remember, being a man, being a man, going to kill them hit songs at the same time. So but, and, and you see, no, you see, no, you're wrong. Because being a man, I'm born to kill a 90s artist. They no, but I'm them I, never back in I, the 80s. I'm mean, not go back from Baba and all of them people. Yes. Yeah. But I'm saying, if he had a hit song, you'd have remembered it. Mm. That's all I have to say. All right. Because you still listen to King Yellow Man, them and all of them artists the same way. All right. All right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> no, all right. So, so the voice, the voice, what I get is that an artist 
no matter what, stay, stay true to his or her craft. No matter what, no follow the year, say. No follow what the crowd are going. Like, they stay true to themselves, and whenever the, the fans them gravitate to it, as 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 fine. That's what you say, right? Not necessarily. Yeah, that that sounds more like a consummate artist. Mm. And an artist that takes themselves too seriously. Oh. Because yeah, remember, and, and every artist can dance and everything. So artists mm. can also bring on entertainers to make them show spicy. Okay. Yeah. That and 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 here 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 is one our biggest dancehall artist worldwide, Sean Paul. Hey, he had to work is, on it though. Is yeah. that because <laughs> yeah, him bring on him bring on people? Yeah, see, man. Ensure a theme show at this show. Ah, you see who you use because he's a good friend of mine, you know. <laughs> yeah, okay. And you know, say, him started to bring chi ching ching on sh- on shows. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, entertainer because okay. chi ching ching is an entertainer and he brought that entertainment value if you talk um, to Ching Ching tell us I'm an artist <laughs> <laughs> so, so hold on on, on. Leave, me, leave me out of the conversation because people are going to call me so leave no. me <laughs> no. so alright hold on so when it comes to, to making money and eating a food then is it important then to be entertaining or just stay true to being an artist no, of course it is important to be entertaining if you're going to make money out oh, of the music business. Mm. How many talented people you know work in restaurants as wait staff? Mm. How many artists you know that work in a call center job? Mm-hmm. If for for you to really tap into where the money is, you have to be entertaining. Mm-hmm. You can't be an artist. Mm-hmm. You have to evolve. Wow. Yeah, you have to evolve. In the, in the like there's, 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 there are few people, and that's internationally, that make it as an artist. A uh, Kendrick Lamar, mm-hmm. Drake. um, yeah. not uh, no, yeah. Drake is an entertainer. Uh, I was waiting not, for this one. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> no, Drake, Drake is an, an entertainer. Yeah. Kendrick Lamar, J Cole. All right. Well, Smuda, Ash- Ashade is a very good one. Ah, She's man. definitely an artist. Andre 3000. Um, Andre 3000. Those are the people <laughs> that music is music move them. Mm. When you can, when you could have the lookout for, for a Michael Jackson album every five years, mm. or when you can look out for a Beyonce album every three years, mm-hmm. you have to sit down and wait for them to do what they do. <laughs> for when they feel. The reason why I said that Drake is an artist, you know, mm. is because of even Drake concert, he makes sure that he have the right backdrop and lighting and everything for, for his show to be entertaining. Yes. Ex- you see what you say? Entertaining. Right, no, <laughs> for no. his show to be entertaining. Ooh. It's, not, it's not like a Corinne Bailey Ray that's going to sit down with our one guitar. Mm-hmm. So Auntie Kanye is what to you? No, Kanye is an artist. Yeah, well, Kanye is art. Kanye is art. Thank right, you very much. Kanye, well, Kanye, Kanye, Kanye do you a lot Kanye. of fun No, no, no. Kanye, Kanye, Kanye became an entertainer mm-hmm. and regressed into artistry. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Who? Who? Okay. Kanye left Kanye has left us hanging for years. Years. I was still hung. Oh. Kanye, Kanye uh-huh. come out with art. I remember that? Know. Remember? No, you see what, Hold what on. Is remember that, that no. remember remember nah. that song remember that remember that song through the wire yeah. that Kanye did mm-hmm. that was so it, for me it was kind of groundbreaking that's true I mean your mouth is wired shut my G yeah and you wrote a whole song about the fact that your mouth is wired shut wow, yeah mm-hmm. and then him come out with college dropout <laughs> and we were so like. Okay, give us more, give us more, give us more, give us more. Hmm. And then him just stop giving us more for a couple of years, well. The question I'm asking now, yeah. would you wait that long for an entertainer? Like would I wait that long for an artist like Kanye? No. I think well, but, I, but 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 Kanye did Kanye did something by trapping us mm. by being <laughs> entertaining. Because it's entrapment. Hmm. Hmm. So that it means that there's no you there's uniqueness in in art but not entertainment. 
Mm, I don't think you know, sir. You know, I, that's a good I one. Love, I love how you said that's that. A good one, yeah. I love how you said if that. There's uniqueness. Because then we can we can talk about all I um something there. All I scam a song them. Oh. There there is no un- uniqueness oh, in right. entertainment. Oh. Because when you drop when you drop in the 100 scammer songs per capita <laughs> in the music industry, yeah, it's not unique. When was the last time you heard a chopper song that was like, yo, this really bad, you know? Only one I remember that was is the first one that I heard with, with, with um Skilly. Brit- no. with oh. And that just start everything. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> it became a trend. And it's the same thing. It, it's the same thing in the world over with music. Mm. When you look at even rap music. Wow. Um, a one gangster rap song in the 90s made gangster rap the most popular thing ever because everybody was doing it. Nobody was singing. Nobody was um rapping like how they were rapping from the 80s with the KRS ones anymore who was doing conscious rap lyrics. Mm-hmm. You know, it so it, it no, not it to... created this Phenom- wave of something. Yeah, okay, this phenom- is new and people like it. Let's yeah, all do it. It's a phenomenon. Yeah. yeah. So Mike So okay, so I'm gonna get to that point, Nishan. That's a good point. But what I what I want to understand then is, is one right and one wrong? That's that's no. it. No. No. That who wouldn't want to be an artist plus an entertainer. Mm. <laughs> exactly. It it come like when I'm watching uh Mr. Killer overseas. Mr. Killer them Dexter Dabs them them are artist entertainer. Mm-hmm. Right. You see me? Me not me not think say might be when next to them and whatever I do might might work for me. Right. Especially exactly. I remember saying you know, a lot of artists, especially in the eyes of women, mm-hmm. don't have the sex appeal, so they have to rely upon something else. Mm. So like what Beyonce can come past stage and sing every man start lost. When they normally say Adele, the man not really lost half of her, but they love her vocals and her songs and the messages. Mm. And Adele, Adele is an artist, you know. Yeah. I know that, but I'm Adele. talking about <laughs> Adele is an artist. Somebody have a break for her heart for she come to it. Some ground breaking thing, trip. you know. No. <laughs> and a slim Adele. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody have a really mash up for her meds for she come give you something, you know. So, so, yes, same like Whitney. Mm. <laughs> so, 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 to, so, Tony, my my question is to you, Tony, is um dance all though, right? I feel like the culture of dancehall. I, I, I'm a young gun. You know, I say eighties, man. I'm a nineties, baby. I'm a young gun. You see me? Is it, I know dancehall right now. Gimmicks and dancehall seem like it all go hand in hand. You understand mm-hmm. what I mean? I say, wait a second. Gimmicks, gimmicks. I come from eighties with, with Professor Nuts and okay. All right, I'm learning. I'm learning. Mm-hmm. Is it, is it fair to say then that? You know, because of how dancehall is with this whole gimmicks factor and you know capture capturing attention. As that's a, as you rightfully say, another voice. When when Beanie, when more Beanie, when when Ninja touch the stage with him outfit them and him do him, that's that's entertainment. That that just look like dancehall. When the teacher do all the controversial thing, them for be entertaining. You know, him, we know it's same lyrically important. We don't have to question that, but Cartel have to do something a little bit extra for separate himself from it, and that's kind of where the entertainment factor came in. So what I want to know is. In the space of dancehall, is there space for someone to just be reserved and just be a, just focus upon the art? Do, do is there a room? Do they have to say no? Man, I have to find a, I have to find something where the people them like. Is it what if it's an art? Is there a space for an artist to be, you know, just true to themselves and say, you know, he's not a man who really want to follow the people them and say, I want to do my own thing. Would that artist survive in dancehall? Mm, um, you want to answer that, Tony and or <laughs> me? This is a very painful question no, because mm. no. The, oh. the, the, the because thing is, no, no, they can't, mm. they can't survive. Wow. The thing is, yeah, because remember, I know, um, first and foremost, this, this money pull up thing when I go in a dance, Ooh. um, you find out, <laughs> so, all right, then most of these DJs say, all right, then I them chop a song at people they want here. Yeah. And yeah. at least I make me carry a whole money go my yard. So, you know, with your unique song now, <laughs> when I don't have a, a big PR like Tony and Kelly <laughs> behind your thing. To make you in the eyes of everybody else, your music are just last because one, you don't have the money to push it to sing like you want to push it. Mm-hmm. So you try to rely solely on your talent, whereby that alone not gonna work. So mm-hmm. that's why even when I have because con- I've I've had conversation with 
person that sing chapa song and them say yo vice or this are going right now and this may have to do you know mm. so i don't know how that i, I guess you can bust a certain way and then try to be unique after but yeah, because it's okay. very hard I, I, I love yeah i love that point Got that you. you just made Got you can bust a certain way yeah. and try to be unique after mm-hmm. case in point alkaline <laughs> Do you remember Alkaline's first song? Um, I don't remember the first song, but I remember. Easy no. one, two, three. You, I, I, no. That was the first one. You, you don't remember Alkaline's first song because Alkaline's coming out into the industry was him tattooing his eyeballs. Quote, unquote. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For years, I tell people that was garbage. Okay. That couldn't happen. Not that. And they all was like, no, but I'm like, you can mm. you go blind like just think about yeah, it illogical simply yeah but alkaline's coming into the industry was through gimmicks mm-hmm. and look at alkaline now mm. alkaline is an artist mm. hmm. alkaline is not an entertainer now we listen to alkaline because alkaline captured our attention through the gate mm-hmm. with not to, not with a gimmick song not with a gimmick song because yeah. he's never given us a gimmick song. <laughs> Just by doing something absolutely out of this world yeah. that you couldn't imagine, and we're just all worshiping Alkaline <laughs> through and through, even now. Yo, because Top Prize, Top Prize is an, is an amazing album. Yeah. And when you think about the fact that that kid who tattooed his eyeballs, quote unquote, to get in. Is here. Yeah, that's a good yeah, point. Just, yeah. That's a good point. And it, and but voice, you know, say so you bring up a you bring up a point. When we feel like I really push the gimmicks in a dance hall, low key. You see that? You 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 believe? And and Tony, you can answer this as well. But the voice, you first. You really feel like the money pull up culture mash up dance hall? Of course, most definitely. Because yeah. the, I, me personally, we can talk and from a stand, um songwriter point of view, mm-hmm. I don't. Go to that much dance anymore. Hello? Oh, yeah, you there? We're hearing you. We're hearing you. Hearing you. Like, Wi-Fi just a chip in. You there? Hello, hello, hello. Okay, well, well I got sort out. Well, I sort out that. But Tony, you know, he, you know, just piggybacking on 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 the voices point. You agree or disagree with? With what he's saying that you know the whole money pull up culture hold on him there yeah yeah i don't know what happened just now that's all you got man you're there now yeah here um so yeah. i'm saying that i believe say um that is mashing up dancehall music yeah be it on as a songwriter i don't really go as much to dance anymore based on that reason because trust me you will do it and you hear some song I get pull up all leap, you know, and that artist carry entourage a friend and you see them uh, jump up to the music there mm-hmm. like oh, artist are them type of music I'm afraid I get the people them like to hear because you don't know say that person they bring a bus load of people for come jump up for music, you know. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. And then will I dance at them when they done PRD already and I'm glad I do different dance to the music and things. So with that now you don't know where the real substance is in dance hall so you feel like say you have to just keep up with the trend all right mm. then and there now you're gonna be the same like everybody else mm. Tony. So, so so i yes and no because i do agree with what he's saying but we still have to bear in mind that dance hall is an industry within an industry and there are different moving parts that make dance hall work um you can't have one without the other. You know, one hand washes the other. You get you get the exposure that you're looking for with some time with money pull-ups in the dance hall because not, it's not only persons who you bring to the dance that is there and will hear the song and may like the song or the song may stick in them head because they've heard it a hundred times. Um I Personally, don't like the culture of money pull up, but I understand mm-hmm. its place in dance hall. You know, you can what? be in a dance. Oh, sorry, you can be in a dance, you know, and just constantly hear 
money pull up songs and not mm-hmm. even hear your favorite song we want to hear. Okay, but yeah. let me, let me, let me, let me teach you a little bit about marketing or advertising. You remember the mothers, you don't love mothers' parties, but that mothers' party song that was on TV 24-7. Mother's Chicken. That same one. (laughs) You know it like the back of your hand. You have an an affinity to it because it's dancehall, it's roots, it's our culture. And people based on that have went and bought Mother's Patties. It's the repetition that works. Hmm. Hmm. So whereas we don't agree with Money Pull Up, it have its place because it does play a part in the repetition of a certain song for it to get popular. And that is what you want. You want the song to get popular. You want people overseas to hear it. You want to be booked for shows. It's all par for the course, Mm -hmm. right? What I would think, what I would say in my estimation, and this is me being shameless, is mashing up dancehall, is the lack of proper... PR and marketing tactics being adapted mm-hmm. to dancehall, right? A lot of dancehall artists think that, as you say, writing a song or releasing a song every day is going to bust them mm-hmm. or putting up a song on YouTube every week is going to bust them instead of spending the time to promote the song. Mm-hmm. When you look at international artists who are signed to big labels, they do a body of work and they promote that body of work over three years. Mm. They're world touring from that body of work. Understood. Well, because they are marketing their body of work. Wow. They're not marketing 100 songs. Mm -hmm. And every dancehall artist think them can follow what cartel do (laughs) and become, and become as popular as cartel. And it Mm -hmm. don't work like that. In set the bar a certain way, you know, because and them no. artists, them, them artists, I know if them feel like so. <laughs> me, I it's because we we, we we see the body of work a cartel put in, and see him all is a release song. So they feel like that, they feel that the blueprint. Subconsciously, and, and, and you you're don't wrong. hear artists for all two months. We said that artist a dead man. <laughs> no, but you're <laughs> wrong. And you know why you're wrong? Because Cartel's blueprint only worked for Cartel. Because Cartel had to get the music out. Mm. He had so much in it. There was a one point when Cartel was saying he was writing like 20 songs per day, and you're like, to do what? Mm-hmm. But you know, say um um alkaline use that same. Technique. Remember, so in alkaline afterwards, I just almost every week you're running alkaline to you know. Yes, because 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 that is just how their artistry work. You know what? Here we go now. Here you really have to find what work for you. And and you know, so I forgot to pause this. So I forgot to pause the conversation because eleven o'clock there. But yo, man, telling the truth, I really appreciate this. I really appreciate the insight because. So we, 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 so listen, I feel like I forgot to pick up on this. On a real meds, but man, for just the first, I have to thank my guests. The voice, my general, just go on with the faith and go on and put out the good music. Say, man, good luck with the rum festival. You know, my I really appreciate the insight and go on, focus by your craft, you know, and and try and, and you work on the entertainment as well. Because as I rightfully <laughs> say, one can do without our other in our, in our culture. I really appreciate it, my general and Tony and Kelly. Big boss, you see, as a big up yourself, entertainment publicist, and you know, CEO. Yes. Of Black Butterfly Media, I really appreciate That's your a insight. Lot. I, I'm, yeah. I'm just Tony, and thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really appreciate the insight. And as you rightfully said, there's a lot to you know dancehall and, and artists, you know, getting their music out there. You know, gimmicks are right, being entertaining is all right, but staying true to yourself and get your music out the right way. Focus on the body of work. I really appreciate that that insight, and and you'll go far. Trust me. Dancehall yes. is timeless. Our culture is timeless, and it's it's full time that our messengers follow suit and so guys thank you so much enough love and respect bridge nation you know this has been another streets according to me and boy shells tonight we're reason about artists versus entertainers we've realized we all come to an agreement that there is some difference 
But one can do without the other, especially in our dancehall culture. So if you're an entertainer, nothing wrong if you want to call yourself an artist. If you're an artist and you want to work on being entertaining, nothing wrong with that. But stay true to yourself and stay true to the music. Stay true to the genre. Stay true to Jamaica. You understand me? That's it for me. I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow with the Up and Go crew with Richie B, Z, um, DJ Audley, and Queen Jojo at 6 a.m. Jeez, on peace. But until then, big up on yourself. This has been The Streets, according to me, your boy Shells.